In this video, let's take a look at how we can create a plan view sketch in concepts with a little bit more of dimensions. On the Simon text at the bottom, and there we have a sketch which we will bring into concepts. For those who are not in this class, you can find the download link to this image inside the video description. As always, one finger onto the image, hold, select copy, swipe up, go to concepts, make a new document, go to import and paste it in. We want to have rotate turned off. Very good. We can make this a little bit bigger. And then we will move this off the page simply so that um, it is to the side. This drawing is absolutely not to scale. This is more an illustrative sketch to capture some of the basic dimensions. And we can use this to work actually on the plan view. And we will focus on this one. Oh, no, those are elevation views, obviously. So we have some dimensions here for the the wall, wall thickness. We simply assume they're all five inches just to make it a little bit easier. We have two bifold doors, a window and a door. Okay, so before we get started, let's set up our unit system. We will at the end down here select specific units, should be inches, so that when we sketch everything it will just read out simply as units, uh, inches. So one inch we draw on paper, what should this represent in in real life? Now when you work with an architectural scale, the scale basically said um, this quarter inch is equal to foot, this is equal to this. So here with the scale system, we simply say, well, one inch should maybe be um, 24 inches, so two feet. I know actually that this will be around 36. All in inches, very good. And there we see the measurement now reads out one to 36. Okay, so we can see that one room is 11 feet, two inches. 11 multiplied by 12 is 132 plus two inches, 134 inches. So we can try to do this very fast. We go to a drawing tool, we have smoothing set to 100, measure we have turned on, and then we can simply draw a line. So there 134, it should be okay, good enough. So this is not super precise. Now again, we, we try to use this more as a very quick sketching method. And you saw that I, I used actually the paper edge simply to give me an idea for the length. Okay, very nice. So that one I have. No, let's do the other one. Um, 11 feet, so 132 plus 8, 140 inches. I can go to here and draw this one down. 140, try to get close, rotate this a little bit. Yeah, maybe like this. Okay. Very nice. Now, if I want this to be really precise, now I can select the line with the finger, um, press onto the number, then this field will come up and we can type in 140. Now this line is actually really correct, 140. And we can make this 134. If you want to work that precise. The reason why I'm pointing this out, um, these two methods is just everything takes time. To what degree when we make a plan view, a sketch when we have a client, does it have to be precise to an inch? Um, because this is not AutoCAD. We are here more sketching out ideas. So that's a choice you can make. We can also um, use our 
guideline tool here and I will rotate this. This actually should snap. So I'll turn snapping on, move this to here and then let's enter the value 140. There, uh, double tap on it. Okay. So you see this way then we could also draw a line that is 140 inches. When you see, oh, I just moved this by accident because I clicked actually on the ring. But you see this takes time to do, which is I find this process of drawing something close to the paper uh, side, dimensioning it or so, it works actually surprisingly well. And we can still do also our edge snapping uh, for the rest. Okay, so this is done. Let's take a look at the next line there. So we have one down there. We have half of this already done. We can just copy and paste this over. Pretty cool there. And then um, this is one foot 11 inches. So 23. It's very easy to do. Um, I just, oh, I have guideline turned on. I simply draw a line 23 here. There, very good. Again, if you want to, we can adjust this. to be really precise. I will actually turn off the scale, so I'm not scaling these objects anymore. Maybe I can only rotate them. So, okay. So there we are. Now we have a wall thickness of five millimeters, uh, five millimeters, um, five inches. So I can zoom in from here, draw myself a line, and till this is pretty, pretty close. Yeah, like there, very good. Select this, bring this over. Okay, and this one I delete. This was just a little helper. This I can maybe draw up a little bit there. Cool. So, you copy, snap, duplicate, snap, select this one, duplicate, snap. There we are, easy. How do we do it now, our offset? It's actually quite easy. So from there to there, I draw myself a five inch line. And now this line, I will bring to there. <laughs> Select this, make a copy. I will actually turn uh, stretch on move this over and bring it to there cool select this one uh, scale i turn off just rotate that is fine okay select this one make a copy and then i rotate this one try to make it nice and horizontal somewhat and then I bring it to there. Okay. Select this. Move this maybe to there. Okay. One there, very, very good. Select this. So you see, I actually, I'm not going to, um, draw everything all the time I could, but because of concepts is vector based and I can measure and copy and paste everything so beautifully, why make myself life difficult? There, I can just simply do it this way. Very nice. And then I will select the lasso, select these two. Oh, partial off. Ah, oh, partial on. Um, 
So I draw over it and then it selects the object I drew on and you see how I brought this over a little bit lower here, select this. There, this is in my way, so let's delete this segment. And I'm lining this up by also paying attention to how this line and this line, and then these guidelines intersect. Very good. So if I want to clean everything up, I could delete this, draw a line, and then from here to there, you will see it snaps to the endpoints. No? Or if I would like to do this more this way, I can also simply use then the um, trim tool, trim this a little bit back, select this fragment and delete it. Very good. For example, there we have a little fragment, so trim, getting very close close and if I go completely over it the whole thing is gone yeah no not too not too complicated so um, how do we now do for example the door etc so I can go to here draw myself quickly a vertical line in there select this line and then I move this over and you see I'm moving this by a certain amount of inches. So let's say six inches away from the wall. Select this, make a copy and let's make this a 30 inch wall, a uh, door, sorry. There, done. If we take a look at the window, um, it is one foot and eight inches so 20 inches you can do exactly the same method there so i brought it to there oh this is actually not well rotated so that was 20 inches over from this corner and then we here we don't have the width of the the window but from the left edge to from the left wall to the right edge that is uh, 12 24 48 53 so select this one make a copy bring this over Now we have to bring this 53 inches to the right. Also here on every measurement we can hold the finger onto, press and then enter the length correctly. See, I moved this over exactly 53 uh, inches. Very good, this piece here. No, actually, I can rotate because I also need to do my um, my bifold doors. So that's 11 inches. So that's going to be easy. Maybe zoom in more. So from there, go down. There. Okay. Go to here, there, and then 11 inches up. There, very good. And then we have uh, 12, 16 inches in the center. How do we figure actually this out? A little bit of perspective drawing skills. Diagonal, diagonal. Diagonal, diagonal, 
intersection intersection there's my midpoint so when this is uh, 12 or 16 this means 8 inches so you make a copy down to and the snapping is in my way to there there's actually an interesting application or to show you the use for partial and on so on when I draw over it um, you see it selects all the stuff and when I go partial uh, you see because I did not um, do, 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 do. I really drew a selection completely around this element and this way the software understood I was excluding the other pieces so you see that how I when I draw partially over it, it doesn't really work. I just have to go completely over it. So another eight inches down. Very good. So we can do a quick reference check. That should be something 16. It is very nice. So let's select all this again and we delete it. Okay, there. Now, well, actually, not too complicated. This is now my my layout for the wall. So let's call this wall. So we know what we're doing there. Based on now the type of door window we are going to put in there, I'm going to simply. <laughs> Simplify things. Window there. So here, let's uh, see how can we put in actually a nice looking door. I know this should be 30, 36. So I will use uh, a different tool. Measurement on. What was it? Whoa. Uh, what happened? Oh. I must have imported this piece. Undo. Yeah, there. Let's turn on the smoothing. So from here, 30, okay. So from this point, I can draw a line up, 30. I use also the wall quickly to do a reference for what's vertical. Now, how do we do the smoothing? Maybe go to 50 and then see, can we very quickly draw an arc? Takes a little bit of practice. I have to draw this direction first. Or what I can do, we turn on our kite ellipse at the center double tap then we can rotate this place the center of the circle to there very good and then run our pen across the outside there's our door i added some fragments here i'm going to clean those up Okay, now well, you see, quite easy. Based on the the window here, I will just, now well, for example, put the line in. So you can make a decision yourself what we will put in there. Here we have some uh, bifold doors. So where's actually the center? So you see, I'm just trying to draw two uh, diagonals. So that's actually roughly there, and then roughly there, and roughly there. Oh, tick too low. Okay, this helped me very quickly to figure this out. The bifold doors are way too too thick. So here, bring this over a little bit more
in by turning off rotation, but keeping scale on, I can quickly scale those and put those into the correct position. Very nice. Because I turned off exclude all layers, I can draw a selection over middle stuff and it does not select, for example, the, the wall stuff. Cool. Now I can also go ahead. Now I have kind of like this as a reference. I could also draw myself something like this. There. Boo. This. And again, this is this is not meant as a drafting course, but simply as an idea giver so you can understand how we can sketch. I made a group and then I can rotate this. Make a copy, mirror it, bring it to there. Select both, group those one more time. There, number one. And number two. Cool. Now, there you see, so there we have actually the bifold doors open in a stage. We also write into the room uh, to indicate what it is. So we could uh, we make a we make a new layer. Maybe we call this one text. Turn this off. And I will do actually the following to help myself. I will draw this line and this line, very good, go to here, and then just use this as a little helper. Can delete all this, select this, you know, bring this to there, center this. Mm -hmm. Cool. You see, very easy way how to do your uh, lettering. No, is office actually spelled with two F or one F? Let's double check. Yep, 2F. Okay, very good. I honestly, for the moment, <laughs> didn't remember. Very good. So what else can we do? To make something look a little bit more interesting. Now, this is like a kind of boring, bland draft. We can go ahead and, for example, add some colors. So, um, make a new layer. This layer, I will actually put under the walls layer so that the drawing of my wall outline will be above. I can use the marker and now, now I can use a, a, a black color or I can, oh, let me just technically speaking on the color. I could use black or I can use any, any other color. I have a blue currently here active. So we need to change the size so that, for example, this fits into the wall. Oh, this is too small. Oh, this is better. And then, how do I hold my pen one more time now? So I want to paint this way, which means my pencil is oriented this way and then goes down. When later I draw here, the tip is this way. So it's not at an angle because in case it would be at an angle, well then you can see that angle. Okay. Oh, there. 
And then here, one more time, down. We can also here turn actually this on. And then kind of nicely fill this in. You see that it has actually um, a different, based on the pressure and because I'm actually, uh, could I say that, um, I'm, when you use this and then you press and you press and you release, you can see how you can have a variation in the the thickness very easily or not thickness a variation in the pressure thus a variation in the ink when we turn line smoothing on we can have this too but the problem is it is actually more always just in from a soft to how we press hard because when the first moment the pen touches the display we don't have much pressure So there, and there, okay. So if, for example, there, this is too weak. Now, okay, then let's go from here and put one more over. There, so we just overlap the stuff. It's up to you how you want to do this. There, cool. Now you see actually this starts getting a little bit more of an interesting appeal. So this is one way how we can very easily add color into the walls via the, the marker, or we could also use the fill color. There we are just to see where we are working on. I'm going to give this a color, maybe a little bit of transparency there. Oh, I have to make a new layer there. Now, so this, this works too. Uh, here, let's see. Uh, okay, good. I was just curious if actually if this could work, but logically this cannot work because we ha we are drawing the shapes. But I find the result of this uh, sometimes a little bit more mm, less ideal, particularly when we have to make really long lines. So I actually think the the marker there is a much much better result. Um, let's go back one time to the marker, double tap, and go to here, and do we have pressure sensitivity, I was just curious, actually, color, yeah, keep it this way, uh, stylus, pressure response, zero, I'm just trying to to see what happens if hmm. I was curious actually if we could override the pressure this thought just struck me yeah okay that no, doesn't work good good just ignore what I was trying to do I was just trying to figure out is there a way how we could just make a line um, perfect without this change in uh, saturation. Maybe we simply do it this way. Let's see. Uh, it does that too. Okay. Yeah, we will unfortunately end up just with the marker being simply 
a watercolor but as you see now we can always overlay multiple lines this should also not look like illustrator more like a quick hand drawing okay the last thing quickly before we kind of like wrap this um, this video up uh, so you get a um, one more information let's do dimensions okay so dimensions are actually pretty fun you can follow standard how we have to do the dimensions or you can also try to uh, how could I say that visually maybe make them be more interesting so let's do first a more correct way we from here to here can draw a line and basically here go and go up a little bit and there okay let's select this move this up there so this is for example our maximum uh, length so we have five plus five and then we have um, so here we can do a quick calculation so we have five then 12 and 11 that makes 23 five and then 100 uh, 11 feet two inches that is 134. good then we can calculate all this together this is all 33 and then this is actually 164. okay very good um let's do actually a quick measurement was that correct yeah yeah one one a little bit off 167 i'm there okay anyway um that's actually so you saw how I calculated quickly the stuff based on the, the sketch, but we can actually, I just realized, we can also use, obviously, the measurement tool. Wah, wah. Okay, so I will do the following. Now I will make another, another line here, there, and draw, for example, this one down and down and down actually here um yeah we keep can keep it we'll do it this way so from there this goes up over and then there okay very good so all that is there with maybe yeah this this pen is a little bit thicker then we know 167 inch this should be one can also be a little bit clean 134 inch this should be five inch five inch and then here this is what was it 20 three inch we can also throw in the architectural ticks there okay no so pretty easy we can quickly draw everything and then in concepts based on the measurement tool help us I'm doing this actually really fast um, then put some dimensions down which hopefully could be pretty close so well uh, this is one foot eight so uh, 12 20 so 20 inches and then 
four feet five or I mean you can also write in uh, four feet five inches based on how you want to do this and what what is actually this line uh, 62 inches 62 divided by 12 is around I think this should be around a five foot window so five feet oh this is the wrong line there very good and some some ticks now if you're inside a space you could take measurements and you know exactly how big something is now then you don't really need to uh gotta say that uh draw something out here and measure we can be more fast if if for example you do this more as an, an clean drawing then this quick sketching i did maybe you want to be more precise and then use a measurement and and write everything but then this could also slow you down but i thought it's actually good to see that there are multiple ways how you can do this so here i zip, go one time across and clean all this stuff up so it's a little bit uh, more there okay so you see quite quite easy another way um if you want lines to look more interesting there's also something called dotted it's a cool cool line tool and this is 11 feet 8 inches so you see it visually is just more visually appealing when now uh, can we select all those yeah switch to this do maybe this and here for example the numbers stand out a lot more it's a lot easier to read it's maybe not necessarily that typical standard but then again this is not meant to be a construction drawing this is let's say you, you talk with a client and you want things to pop out it's all about line weight readability if you then create something that should be for a, con for a contractor then we have to obviously obviously apply more to draw everything by code the or not code standard the text here also is actually um, part of the same layer I could even break this down into each individual layer so I can very quickly select just the text and then select all the line which present the dimensions when I for example have to well or want to like in this case let's say uh, maybe this is too confusing for people I'm going to switch this back this is not much work and you see this goes actually fairly quickly with the lasso tool okay very good let's keep this at this uh, stage I hope this gave you pretty much a good understanding of what we would do manually um, pen and paper and an architectural scale and how we could do this simply in concepts and again I hope you start noticing that um, this looks like hand-drawn but the cool thing with concept is we can work more precise and because it's vector-based we can copy and paste move stuff around really easily <laughs>